Okay, hello people. It's Uncle Marky here. This one has um, problems. The wiper, the, the, the washer wiper motor isn't working. Okay, you, you got this here and you can you can see all the fuses. You, you want to check all the fuses. And there it is there, 15 amp wiper motor. But I'm not going to do that. What you do is you put all your ignition on, on. See how it's on, on. Right, I'm also close to empty, it doesn't matter. All right. What you do then is you get see your test light. You to put on on, put your test light onto the ignition key. Then what you do is you come in here. See the red light? Good. Good. You test all of them. So you can see they all have a continuous circuit. Right? It takes me five minutes to check every single fuse. You don't have to... Eh, good. Now you'll co come across some. Alright. This one. You see this one? No light is on. Now what I do is go to the other side. Again, no light is on. There's nothing wrong for the fuse because both sides aren't giving me current. Right? It's usually for something like radio. If it's on, if it's off. Here's another one has there. This one's working, see? You go, you touch the end, see the light go on? You touch the other end. You touch the end, you touch the other end. Yeah, I can see now, what I've done is I've taste, uh, tested all of my fuse, fuses in five minutes. Now, the one that's the wider motor is here, the 15 amp, right? I'll check that. And that's giving me a continuous circuit. I know straight now that my fuse isn't bad. Try this one. Next to it, pretty good. This one's pretty good. Sometimes it might be running off something else. These are the 30 ampers, right? Again, working, 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 working. So what I've done is I've tested every fuse in about 30 seconds. And all you do is see the key, Alright, see the key? I'll pull it out. That's all you do. Put, connect your test light to the key, put on the ignition, turn it on. And then you, this, because that'll be the earth, that's your earth, and your test light, of course, like I showed you before, is in there. And that test fuses very, very fast, and that way you get to a faulty fuse in seconds.